Hi, my name is Sun Nilsson, and in this video, we will talk about constraints. Constraints provide powerful ways to adjust bones without using the bone hierarchy. For example, a transform constraint could be used to have a character pick up a hat lying on the ground and have it attached to the character's head. The right edge of the tree displays annotation icons for items that are constrained by or the target of a constraint. The icons can be clicked to select the constraint. In the editor area, bones that are affected by constraint will be shown as hollow. Constraints are applied in the order they appear in the tree, and in some cases, the order they are applied is important. Here I have two constraints, an IK constraint and a path constraint. If the IK constraint is applied first, I get this behavior when nothing happens when I move the IK target. This is because when the path constraint is applied, which in this case happens after the IK constraint, the world transforms a recomputer for the constraint bones, which reverts the IK bones to their unconstrained state. However, I can drag the constraints in the tree to reorder them. If the path constraint is applied first, I get the correct behavior. Selecting the constraints node in the tree and then clicking reset automatically calculates the order for all constraints. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope to see you again for the next one. Bye for now.